Leviosa. Repairer. Lumos. Brilliant. Ah, a worthy playmate. Well done. Lumos. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Rebellion. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Night to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> This is a bit. That was the wrong square. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. 
I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Akio. Indarium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Inordinately clever friend appeared to have traversed this seemingly never ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, I'll leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! That's just cat, cat, by cat, cat, I mean.
Bombarda. Someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out! Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Revelio. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop? Well, yes, she said she did, but I think you might have missed the bit about the dungeon. No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before. Repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, 
These are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> ah! to do business with a wily student. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never really crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Check on that house self of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. 
Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose Vestas and Venom. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny. We'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. It is wonderful to see you back here. will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travel. Revelio. Meet, here I come. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I... I'm sorry about your moon cop. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, how kind. If you do see her. Do keep an eye out for her. Um...
I should try and rescue Garnish's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Opening all of these is tempting. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Defendo. Accio. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Read the world of another spider. I shall sleep in the Your step. I nearly slipped there.
All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about the Guardians that underwent expansion efforts and Rebellion. problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside the sarcophagus. Seems odd. Akio! Guardian Leviosa! There's something here by the altar. What did Rebellion. you find? Rebellion. Accio. Incendio. Incendio. Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Akio. Find a safe way across. Defender. Lumos. Defender. Lumos. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Rickety Bone Bridge complete. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving. Of course. Brilliant. There's more to this Rebellion. than I imagined. Look, 
Bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Ah. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. You've done it! I knew Rebellion! Accio! Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a sin. Akio! <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Akio. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. You are Akio. head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place.
moment there, I thought it would never end. Dead end. Lovely. The pulp all that for nothing. Accio. Rebellion. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing, it was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than... Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave him. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Incendio! Incendio! Finger! Imperium!
Revelio. Akio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Rebellion. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. For Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. Is it only upset? <laughs> All the Randolph's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldkoff's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Rebellion. Incendio! 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 Incendio!
With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. What are you up to now? with my uncle. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. 
He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Rebellion!